Mastering Prepositional Phrases A Step Towards Fluent English Hello, learners. Welcome to our series on Grammar Fundamentals. In this lesson, we'll be focusing on one of the essential components of English language, prepositional phrases. We're going to explore some common prepositional phrases and engage in listening and speaking activities to enhance our understanding. Before we jump into activities, let's quickly recap what prepositional phrases are. A prepositional phrase is a group of words that begins with a preposition and is usually followed by a noun or pronoun. For example, in the sentence, the book is on the table, on the table, is a prepositional phrase. Now, let's familiarize ourselves with some of the most common prepositional phrases. In time, at home, on time, under the weather, by the way. These phrases can significantly impact the meaning of your sentence, so they're crucial to understand and use correctly. Let's move on to a fun listening activity. I'll read out a few sentences, and your task is to identify the prepositional phrases. Remember, prepositional phrases start with a preposition and are followed by a noun or pronoun. Here are the sentences. 1. I arrived at the airport just in time for my flight. 2. My keys are on the table. 3. She lives by the sea. 4. The dog is hiding under the bed. Take your time to identify the prepositional phrases and jot them down. This activity will not only help you identify prepositional phrases but also improve your listening skills. Now that we've practiced listening, let's move on to a speaking activity. Try creating your own sentences using the prepositional phrases we discussed earlier. In time, at home, on time, under the weather, by the way, this activity is a great way to practice using prepositional phrases and to build your confidence in speaking English. That's a wrap for today's lesson on prepositional phrases. Remember, learning to use prepositional phrases correctly is a significant step towards mastering English. Continue practicing with the listening and speaking activities we've done today, and soon you'll be using these phrases like a pro. Until next time, keep learning and keep practicing.